Welcome to this four-part video series on how to conduct effective research in academic libraries. This is video two, Topic Search. By watching this video and trying out searches of your own, you will be able to identify key concepts in a topic, explain the purpose of and or when used in a search statement, conduct simple and complex topic searches in Omni, and find psych info. Searching for your topic in Omni is an excellent beginning, but you may also want to explore psych info in order to use its discipline specific search features. You will often be asked to do library research, which generally means using Omni and library databases to find books, articles, and other resources. Ask yourself what you need to learn or know. Do you require general information on a single concept or detailed information on a specific research question? This will help determine your search strategy. There are two types of topics, a simple one concept topic or a complex topic that incorporates several distinct concepts. These two types of topics require different search strategies. Many single concept topics exist within psychology. Any subfield or area of study can be used as a search term, for example, cognition. Researchers in psychology investigate behavioral or mental disorders, and any of these can be searched on its own. Depression is one example. And research on treating these disorders can also be searched as a single concept. In recent years, the treatment modality cognitive behavior therapy has generated a lot of research. A simple topic search is easy to conduct in Omni. Just identify the core concept you would like to learn more about and go to library.yorku.ca. You can enter your search term in the simple search box. You may want to learn about cognition, so we will use that as an example. Type cognition in the simple search box. In single concept searches, Omni will use its algorithm to float general books and encyclopedias to the top of the results list. Books will provide a broad overview, definitions, and key debates on cognition, so they will generally appear first. You can reduce the number of results by using the resource type facet limit books and ebooks. Make note of the books that are of interest to you. You can pin these records in Omni for future use. Be sure you have logged in using your account information. Your books may be available in paper or electronic copy, and in some cases, both. Complex topics draw together several distinct elements, in other words, multiple concepts. When you search for this kind of complex topic, you are conducting an advanced keyword search. Unlike an author or title search, an advanced keyword search is an exploration into the unknown. You won't know what you will find until you start searching. A complex topic can be developed using specific examples of various core concepts in psychology. For example, age group, developmental stage, treatment modality, or clinical setting. Other core concepts include behavior disorder, research methodology, and geographic area. A good starting point in any research project or assignment is a question. You need some idea of the question you are trying to answer to give your search some focus. Because there is so much research published in any given year, it is useful to incorporate several concepts into your question. It is often a good idea to start with three concepts so that you are neither overwhelmed nor underwhelmed with your search results. In psychology, a research question might be, does yoga have an impact on depression in seniors? The concepts here are yoga, depression, and seniors. Did you notice that specific examples of the core concepts treatment modality, a psychological disorder, and age group are incorporated into this research question? To put this advanced keyword search together, you will need to learn about Boolean logic. That means you must know when and how to use two powerful words, AND and OR. These are referred to as Boolean operators. Understanding and using Boolean operators correctly is essential to finding records that match your complex topic. Let's start with the Boolean operator, OR, in any complex topic search, it is useful to think of additional ways of describing your core concepts. In this case, some additional terms for seniors are elderly and aged. Aged is an older term, but it may still generate some results. To connect your synonyms, use the operator OR. 
It is extremely powerful and searching. When you use or between your synonyms, all the possible words for that concept are searched at once, and you will be finding all the records using the original term and its synonyms. This gives you the biggest pool of records. And is the most commonly used Boolean operator. It is used all the time in advanced keyword searches. The two main reasons to use and are to make sure that all your core concepts are discussed in each book or article, and to limit the number of results. Remember, there are millions of books and articles out there. In this complex topic search, yoga generates a small number of results, depression a huge number, and seniors elderly aged somewhere in between. By using AND, you will get the prized records that discuss all three concepts. These are represented by the tiny overlap in the middle of this Venn diagram. So let's put this all together in Omni. A simple topic search is easy to conduct in Omni. Just identify the core concept you would like to learn more about and go to library.yorku.ca. This will require an advanced search screen. Yoga is the first concept. Depression is the second. You can add a third line, seniors, or elderly, or aged. It is critical that you capitalize OR in Omni searches. Did you notice that there is an AND between the rows? The AND is already set as the default Boolean operator between rows. Okay, there are a lot of results. You can use facet limits on the left side to make your search results more manageable. Some criteria that may be important for your search might include peer-reviewed. Under resource type, you can choose articles. You can change the publication date so that your articles are from a certain set of years. A word of caution, there is more to ensuring an article is peer-reviewed. Clicking on the peer-reviewed limit will help, but you will still need to use your critical thinking skills. Please watch video 4 so you really understand how to choose a peer-reviewed article. Omni is an excellent place to start research on your complex topic. If you decide you want to refine your search strategy and limit your results to only psychology publications, you can search the psychology database PsychInfo. In PsychInfo, you can use the discipline-specific limits for your search. Some possibilities are record type, methodology, age group, and population. You can also use the built-in thesaurus for psychology terms. This will give you more focused, relevant results. To find and access PsychInfo, start from the library website. Click on Research Guides, choose Psychology, Finding Articles, and then follow the link for PsychInfo. There is a lot to learn about finding resources in an academic library. In review, you can search a single topic in Omni. Omni will float books and other general sources of information to the top of the results. You will get the background and foundational information you need to understand that concept or topic. Focused complex topics can also be searched in Omni. In those cases, Omni will float articles to the top. Remember to use the Boolean operators AND and OR to make your advanced keyword searches more effective. You can also use these facet limits to make your results more manageable and relevant. Having watched this video and tried out some sample searches, you can now identify key concepts in a topic, explain the purpose of AND and OR when used in a search statement, conduct a simple and a complex topic search in Omni, and find PsychInfo, the main database for psychology. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video evaluating sources.